Welcome to the Alaska vlog. It will be an hour. Get comfy, get a cup of coffee, maybe a glass of wine by the time we're done. We are in Seattle. We have a day to have a day to kill before the boat leaves and look at what's right in front of me. Space needle. So we're gonna just wander the uh, dim overcast city of Seattle. It's beautiful actually, I'm teasing, it's really pretty here. We were the tallest building west of the Mississippi River when we were completed in 1962 for the World's Fair. Now though, of course, 55 years later, they really like to build tall things, so we're 10 tallest just here in Seattle, but we just love the density around. We are on top of the Space Needle, and that is our ship. There she is. That's where we're going. Bonsoir is good night in French. <laughs> At least you should be bon saying voyage. bon voyage, but bon it's bon Dutch, so I don't even know. All right, so there's our buddies in port. Shh, our buddies in port over there, Holland, America, the Oosterdam. And look how pretty this is. That is so pretty. Yes, for Oh my God, I cannot take it. Anika How much of that champagne have you Oh look, we're like right under the bridge. Hello to the bridge. Look at my handsome husband drinking our complimentary champagne. Save some for the actual departure. Ching ching. Ching ching. Chaim. Look at the Space Needle and the skyline. That is so pretty. Good morning from, whoa, day one at sea, Monday. And these are the sleeping quarters of the traveling Goldbergs. We have a slept in bed over there. And this is a really cool setup for the kids. It's like a bunk bed system. I'll come back to that when um, it is not a bunk, but it's a sitting room. And then our, there's our balcony. I think you can see out. There's nothing to see, but see. It is 7.30ish. I have no idea. Do we know? Yeah, turn off the music. No one wants to it's like living this is from the Guardians of the Galaxy, too. <laughs> okay. One. Anyway, we're going to get breakfast. Groot. We're going to get breakfast. Okay. We'll see you later. All right, I've been a bad vlogger. Well, it's been a day of sea. Um, Uh-oh. So it's formal night. And I am wearing a very, not very old, three-year-old Kate Spade dress. And the boys, Shane, you got bar mitzvahed when you were 13. You can't really see them because this is our view. Ooh, it's bright. Oh, there's land way out there somewhere. They're admiring their handsomeness. All right, let's go get some photos. Here we are in the atrium at the Champagne Waterfall. And this is the main piazza, I think they call it. It's quite pretty. These are all the people patiently waiting for the free champagne. And then. Okay, they're so sweet here. We have a new wait staff tonight, and they made Shane a special gluten-free flourless chocolate cake off menu just for Shane. Isn't that sweet? It's really good. Really? The rest of us. Probably like 10 years ago. Jake and I are getting bananas foster, and Michael's getting some like chocolate journey. Hazel. Chocolate hazelnut journey. And this is the dining room. Part of it anyway. We're in the corner. Hello! The most important part. What's that? Me. There you are, Shane. <laughs> and this is crazy. It is a quarter to nine, and we have to have the drapes closed because the sun is shining so brightly. It's still shining? It's blinding. I can't. No, don't open it. It's blinding. It's blinding. At, at 845 at night. Crazy. We just got back from formal dinner and from a really cool magic show. Did you not think that was cool? It was more not like really. mentally card tricks. You're such a cynic. Sorry. Anyway. It's all card tricks. 
it was very cool. Um, Jake is very cynical. Anyway, yeah, he's still trying to figure out, like, it's all a setup. We walk into our room and, <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. Can you see this? You know what, it's not really showing up on camera. Right. Happy anniversary, Mr. Mrs. Goldberg. Yeah, we'll see those step back. Yeah. The room. So I'm like, all right, that's really uh, kind of creepy. Written, written in lipstick or something. <laughs> and then my second thought was, he better not have used my lipstick. Oh, and are you eating my chocolate? Somebody has been eating the chocolate. Oh, what is this made oh, out Shane, of? you ate mine. Okay, oh, seriously. Yeah. Oh, it's dry erase mark. Yeah, no, what is bad. this? What is this? Did it come off? It's on my finger. Is it not coming off? It uh, okay, off. Uh, it's dry erase, yeah. I don't know. That was sweet. I mean, it's still creepy. <laughs> Maybe it's just highlighter. I don't know. It's very weird. Maybe it's it's cute. But no towel animals! Okay, no. All right, we are going to sleep. We are getting very crazy around here. We have to be up on the dock at 6.50 in the morning. 6.50 to get on a seaplane. I'm ready for adventure. Adventure is right out my window. Literally, like, there is the town. Right out the window. So, all right, we're off.
Oh, no, it's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. Michael. Well, they will have a good fight. One is going to give you So this is very, very new to the scene. And this other guy is like, no, 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 no. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guy. Go back up to your hill. They're like, oh. So we survived the seaplane and the bear tour. It was <laughs> amazing. I don't want to waste your time raving, but that, if you can pull that one off on your excursion list, is breathtaking. But in Ketchikan, we're in Ketchikan, they have streets that are normal, like everybody else in the world has, and then they have streets that are staircases, like this one. So this is, the, see these wooden stairs? It's an actual street. See, look at the street sign. Bayview. There it goes. Isn't that weird? They have them all over. I think they said they have like 30 something of them. So anyway, it's almost 11 o'clock and we've been up for six hours. So we're ready for lunch. More than ready, huh? Let's go, let's go find some food. It's Wednesday morning and we were supposed to be pulling up to a glacier to view it. The Tracy Arm Fjord Glacier. However, that's not happening and it is the weirdest and most horrible story as to why. Um, last night, about nine-ish, we were already in our room. I was getting a migraine. Anyway, we were already in our room and the loudspeaker comes on and it's, this is the bridge, this is the bridge, we need a security team to deck nine, that's our deck, port side, our hallway, section seven, thankfully, aft, the other side, we're in the front. And you could hear the panic in his voice, and then he said, and medical, and they get on, and whatever. And then there was, then the Brit captain got on a little bit later and said, sorry for the interruption, it's been taken care of, the only people that, you know, need to be concerned are the ones involved in the incident, everything's fine. And we didn't think too much about it. Well, this morning, the captain just got on, it's uh, 7 o'clock, we've all gotten up early to go look at the fjords. The captain gets on and says, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to report that last night at 9.04 p.m. there was a dis domestic disturbance and a 39-year-old female passenger died as a result of that disturbance. And we are not going through the Tracy Arm Fjords, and, as you can understand, and we are going directly to Juneau where the FBI will be boarding the sh ship. Oh my god, there was a murder it's horrible. I feel terrible for her family. I think she's traveling. said that, you know, please extend your sympathies to her family. Obviously, they're getting off the ship in Juneau as well. There's a murder, like, in our hallway. That is on a cruise ship. It's horrible. Um, so, yes, we're not really too concerned about seeing a glacier or not because there was... <laughs> All right, we just had a late breakfast I guess breakfast number two and look at this view on deck it's raining so I'm undercover but look how pretty this is isn't that pretty so our um, excursions were canceled but we found something really cool we took a tram to the top of Mount where are we Mount Roberts I believe and look at this view we just took the tram this tram up and that's the view that's down, that's, yeah, that's downtown Juno. It's foggy and misty and rainy and so beautiful. There are some of the ships in the harbor. The air is super clean and fresh. There's some of the spruce things. So we're gonna get off the uh, sky bridge and into the area. And um, this, this tram is run by an uh, Alaskan Native Corporation, which is really neat. Okay, so we are off and I'll take you into the mountain. So how Kevin, big Kevin are you? Kevin. You are the same size as a Canada goose, Shaney. Oh, that's Canadian makes total goose, sense, man. of course it is. We are in the rainforest on top of Mount Roberts and it is so beautiful it's up raining. here. It is raining. <laughs> but it feels good. But we're in a rainforest, it so like it's pretty cool. Look at that view is beautiful and we've hiked all over the place we've not seen any bears which i'm very thankful for but now we're going to take the tram down and go find a nice little coffee shop and get some 
coffee or hot cider or something. And we met a lovely couple from Canada. Yep. And uh, you meet the neatest people on these excursions. So we're going down the mountain. See you at the bottom. Good morning. I think it's Thursday. That's what they tell me. We are just chilling out after breakfast. Um, we are in port at Skagway and we are enjoying the view. There's a little glare from the from the light, but look. See the speedboat out there? How fun does that look? Maybe not that fun, but how fun does that look? Aren't those mountains beautiful? That's the view from my seat. There's the rest of it. We're going to the top of a glacier. Michael looks too chill. You do have more than this to wear, right? No, I pretty much recycle my clothes because I travel light when I go. But this is all you're wearing to go on top of a glacier? Yeah, I got, I got some uh, earmuffs too. You run a little hotter than I do. Let's face it, I, I'm cold just sitting still in an air conditioned room. I'm pretty well insulated. Because right. I got about 100 pounds on you. I wouldn't go that far. fastest that will let these guys run because the faster they do run the more prone to injury they are yeah so we do try and keep them between 8 and 10 miles an hour That's insane. now we'll climb up a little hill and then they'll settle into a nice little trot hi guys yeah Thank we have we have a wine on our back home so. they're so small a wine i mean a you know compared yeah. to what we're oh he's yeah good job <laughs> Nice this is Bo Hannon and Lollipop. Hey. hey, you guys are doing a great job. Ooh. Oh, you oh, want a belly wow. rub? What are we doing here? I don't know, but I'm going to Snapchat it. Good. Jake, really? special dining room called the Crown Grill that is like a little extra so we just decided to do one night in here to celebrate and it's really pretty but this is really funny we are definitely meat eaters in this family check this out filet mignon filet mignon butterfly filet mignon and filet mignon <laughs> And this is a really pretty dining room. It's a great steakhouse. This is like fine and we're better. <laughs> we have also gone through soup, salad, appetizer course, and here come the sides. So we're gonna go Good dig in. This is insane. Yeah, I'm really bad at waving this thing. Me too. I'm really struggling right now. How are we doing? We're, we're really doing great. We're doing average at best. The ultimate zoom lens is yeah, worth just this far. You guys haven't been to the Seahawks game. Nope. Neither of you. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, wait, 
these people. is our last real day. It's Saturday and I'm gonna take you out. It's gonna, the wind is gonna be tremendous, but we're just off the coast of British Columbia and it's a little warmer, but it's just, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Check out this view. Shining. First day we've seen sun like this. It's kind of cool. Beautiful. We have docked in Victoria. Wow, beautiful. he's really close to us. We are in Victoria. We just pulled up to the dock and we're waiting for customs, immigration clearance, and all that stuff before we could get off. So we were just hanging out on the balcony watching the gulls. Oh my god, that guy's feeding the gulls. He's insane. The guy in that black. The guy is hit well wait. Let's see if he comes back. Now these guys are all look at him. There he is. He just oh. fed him by hand. Oh, it's like flying rabies. Oh. oh, it's like out of a Hitchcock movie. Do you guys want to feed the seagulls? No, 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 yes. absolutely yes. not. No, yes. no. You can get it on your vlog. No, I don't I got somebody yes. else doing you it. Thank you very much. They're gonna poop on you. I'm going in. You can watch it from outside. I'm watching back in here. The They're gonna poop on us. I don't like birds. That is cr people are crazy on this ship. Anyway, we're not absolutely. Oh, because Dad says, Dad Mom says okay. no. So who wins? You get to stay inside with the door closed. Oh my. Okay, that's it. What diseases do these things carry? They're like flying rats. Jake, away from chocolate. Whistling. Not feeding no, them chocolate. We have. They literally are like flying rats, yeah, and they they'll wait, poop on you. Wait, don't waste our chocolate. They have cornflakes. Michael's whistling at them like they're dogs. They're just, just ugh. If I had Wi-Fi, I would look up the disease okay. options of a seagull, but I do not. You guys are crazy. Okay, we are that is cool. looking at peacocks. This is Beacon Hill Park, right? Hmm? This is Beacon Hill Park, is where we are right now? Mm -hmm. This is Beacon Hill Park. They're not gonna poop I love on that. Place. This is my office. Right yeah, it's my office. I'm an avid golfer, so I'm, I'm, oh, nice. I'm noticing that. <laughs> That's a, a great afternoon green, yeah. for the kids that is and the family. crazy. It's cool, huh? Yeah, that's that great. That is cool. That is not something public, I used to Open to the right public there. to hang out and play. That's great. We are in, where are we? Beacon? Beacon Hill Park. Something. Beacon, where? I got it. Beacon, Beacon Gardens. Hill. <laughs> Beacon Hill. I'll just come in quick. Thank you. And, welcome. And um, this is the most wedding pictures per capita in Canada, this park, and I think you can see why. Look, there's a, there's one right there. Look how beautiful it is here. We're doing a pedicab tour of the city for a few hours. And there's the bride. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Thank fun. you. And there's the bride. <laughs> They're so young and cute. So we're getting dinner at this place called Il Terrazzo, and this is the entryway. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. The gardens here are just unbelievable. Let's check out the menu. Hello, it's Sunday and just like that, 
it's over. We're in the cab. We are riding back to SeaTac and back to sunny San Antonio. So I, uh, I'll do a little debriefing. I don't know if I'm gonna summarize everything in this video. I don't think I will. I'm gonna do at least one video on what I packed and another one, or and tips maybe, and then just one dedicated to outfits. I don't know if that will already have gone up or not. Um, if they are already up, I will link those in the description box. But this this is it. This was. I have a lot of good and suggestions well, and, you have a lot and of nice new condominiums things down to there. suggest for people yeah. who are thinking about taking an Alaska cruise. So um, I'll do that in a separate video. But we're done. We're back on dry land. It's kind of sad to come back to reality. We're not there yet though. Still gotta get to the airport. We are back home. It's Sunday night. It is 7.40. All the bags are unpacked, all the laundry's in a hamper or hung up or put away. What an amazing, just, I'll try to sum up words and I don't even know. Thank you so much for coming with us to Alaska. I hope I did it a little bit of justice. Just amazing. Anyway, thanks for everyone who came along with us. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.